Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Jen. Welcome to Dave and Jen Ignite. And we're here to hopefully bring you some encouragement in the midst of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So we just want to see what we can do to help you stay encouraged. Or maybe you are singing the crazy COVID social distance holiday blues. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. There's a lot of that going around. There really is. And understandably so, with some of the restrictions that we're mm -hmm. living under and just uh, the lack of ability to spend time together with loved ones and uh, especially during the holiday seasons, it, there is a reality to the blues. I agree. That I agree. Occur. There, there really is. And I know we have just come through our Thanksgiving celebration. And, and honestly, uh, there's still so much to, for which we can give thanks, but it is different and we feel it profoundly yeah. when we can't be with, with people that we are usually with and just celebrating together and maybe don't get together with very often. Yeah. And so I know we have felt it. Yes. Definitely. And there's certainly the holiday seasons are a time for folks who have lost a loved one mm -hmm. in the last year mm -hmm. uh, to experience some, just some blues yeah, uh, anyway. And so you stack that along with the, uh, COVID-19 and it can be challenging to stay encouraged. I, I agree. I agree. And I am a very up person almost, I mean, most of the time I'm either up or I'm getting up. That's one of my mantras in life. I'm either up or I'm getting up. That doesn't mean I don't fall or get, you know, get down sometimes, but I don't want to stay there. But I have found even in my life over these last several months since, since back in March that there are times when I just I just feel a little bit um, blue. I am singing the blues, and um, I know that that was kind of a just a fun little ditty. But people are feeling it, and I, I think that not only the results of the physical uh, health are, are going to be an issue to, to deal with it as we move forward, but some of the mental health issues yeah. as well. So and so you may be dealing with some of that. Um, you may be challenged not only in your mental health but in your spiritual health as well. Um, just asking questions and so we want to encourage you yes we do a couple of verses uh, we want to focus on one for me that's been very encouraging is just to remember who God is in the midst of all this mm -hmm. Nehemiah 414 uh, Nehemiah gets up he says after I looked things over I stood up and I said to the nobles the officials and the rest of the people don't be afraid of them that's right remember the Lord who is great and awesome and he was talking about, you know, the enemies there around uh, the, the city of Jerusalem. But I, that is true for today as well. You know what? I don't have to live in fear. Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. live with victory. I can live with hope. I can live with expectation. Not because of my strength or anything else around me, other than the fact that the Lord is great and awesome. And I can have faith in Him. I can trust in Him, no matter what else is going on around me. So that's a great encouraging verse for me. I know there are many others, uh, but that's one that's really been a blessing to me this time. And, and I believe too that as we remember that God is awesome and that he's still on the throne and nothing takes him by surprise and throughout history there have been plagues and epidemics mm -hmm. and he yet the, his faithful people, those that remnant of faithful followers, not only remained strong but actually grew. So this is a time when we can not only... Uh, it, get through the epidemic, get through the pandemic, but also we can grow and hopefully pull, pull others alongside with us too. And one of the verses, well, it's a couple of verses in the book of James, and I'm sure that those of you who have read, have read God's word are probably familiar with this one as well, but it says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter trials of various kinds, because you know that the trials will produce perseverance. And it's sometimes difficult to consider something awful, a trial, pure joy. Uh, but those are God's words to us, and that doesn't happen overnight. If, if you have lost a loved one to this awful um, pandemic, or if you've lost a loved one, period, for any other reason, and we've lost some family members and some, and some friends over the last year that, that weren't related to COVID at all, but what, how, whatever trials we are going through, to try and say, okay, Lord, how can I see you? How can I see your joy? How can I live in your joy and persevere? Keep moving forward. Get up. I'm either up or I'm getting up, and to keep moving forward. How can we do that? And then how can we encourage others to do that as well? It's not always easy, but it's always best. And God is still on the throne. Amen. 
Well, what kind of things have you found to be an encouragement to you during this time? I'm sure that uh, you've found some things that have been helpful, uh, perhaps in the scriptures, perhaps in, uh, perhaps in a song. Uh, all kinds of things can be of encouragement. Mm -hmm. Time with family. What have you found to be an encouragement to you during this time? And I'm just going to take a little time to answer the question personally. One of the things that lifts me up and can, lift, can get us in the right perspective is worship. If you are feeling down, put on some worship music, put on some praise music. If you are a musician, mm -hmm. go play your piano, go play your guitar, whatever, your, whatever way you can stand, sit, cry out to God in worship. That helps us to remember, just like Dave said, that the Lord is great and awesome. And that is a reminder for us, his children, when we say yes to him and follow him, we are his children. And he's not gonna leave us high and dry, no more than we would leave our own children high and dry when they are in need. So spend some time in worship. That may be a way that you can find encouragement during this time. And another question we want to ask you is, how have you been, been an encouragement to others? Yeah. I'm sure you have. Uh, I think each one of us have, have tried to look for the good it's there. We just need to keep looking for it and then find it, pass it on, and say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. And we want to bring glory to the Lord in all things. Mm -hmm. um, our channel is designed to ignite an interest and desire and action in those who are new or renewed in their walk with Jesus Christ. And so we hope that that's what's happening with you. If you're finding value in this video, then we hope that you'll click that like button and uh, subscribe and then also click that bell for notification so that when the next video comes out, you'll find out about it. And, and just so, uh, some of you have asked um, if I was still in the picture. <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> I am. Just things get a little bit crazy life-wise and schedule-wise, and so it's been great to have Dave share some of those wonderful uh, scripture memory videos with you, but I'm back. Proof of life. Yes, Here it is. Yes, Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Well, until we get to meet again, I'm Dave. And I'm Jen. And Lord bless you all. May it be so.